Dehorning is kind of one of those things that isn't a fun farm chore, but quite necessary. It seems really kind of cruel to burn a calf's horns off. You really don't want a calf, or which will turn into a full-size cow, with horns. Particularly not a bull. A bull with horns is just an accident waiting to happen. A cow is too, but usually cows aren't nearly as pushy or aggressive as bulls. And so you really, really want to take off their horns. Of course, the thing about cows is you'll be handling them a lot more than you will bulls. So really for both of them, you don't want a cow with horns. One that has horns will tend to push around the others. It'll be harder to work um, with a horse or with a dog. And they can be a hazard even to themselves sometimes. You can see right here. And that's her own calf that she was pushing. Blossom, even though she has horns, is very good-tempered, so her horns haven't ever been a problem for us. But it's just best not to have horns on them because of that. Because even if they don't mean to do anything, they can still do some serious harm, even by accident. So, all of that to say, this little guy, we're calling him Samson for now, is going to get his horns taken off today. So we have the iron heating up right now, and in a little bit we'll catch him and take him over to the barn to do that. So this is my dehorning iron. It is a Reinhardt X50 with the 3 quarter inch goat disbudding tip on there. And it's heating up right now. I'm going to use the 3 quarter inch goat tip for this calf because he's still young enough that I can use a small tip, which means that he'll have a smaller burn and thus recover more quickly. This is a good reason to do your calves young. I'll talk a little more about that later. But what I wanted to show is this. It is plugged into an extension cord. Now if you absolutely have to use an extension cord that's okay, but you really should not plug something of this kind of size into an extension cord. At least that's the manufacturer's recommendation. So I'm going to just switch this over to the regular power outlet and wait for it to get good and hot. Now when you heat up your iron, make sure that there's nothing handy that it can burn because this is going to heat up to about 1000 or 1100 degrees and you don't want it to be burning holes and stuff. So it's good to have it on concrete or on a metal tray of some sort and preferably put it in a place where nobody's going to step on it, no dogs are going to sniff it, nothing like that because you don't want anybody to get burned if you can avoid it. I don't really like having this here in the walkway but that's the only place we could put it right now. And thankfully nobody is really walking around much. So I'm going to go get together a few other supplies and then we'll get started. To dehorn, you're going to need some equipment. One of the most important things, besides your iron of course, is gloves. You want some good stout leather gloves because otherwise if you bump your finger, you will feel it and it will not be good. So these are good leather gloves. <clears throat> also a pair of scissors or preferably a pair of um, clippers like shaving electric type clippers are really good for clipping some of the loose hair around the calf's horns and you may or may not need this but for some people it's very helpful because it makes the horns much more visible and then lastly here we have some aloe this is just simply aloe from a leaf off one of our plants and I peeled off the green part and scraped the inner clear stuff out. Normally I mix golden seal with this, but today I actually didn't because I had other stuff going on and I think I'm about out of golden seal. But I'll just keep an eye on them. So that will be to put on the burn after I'm finished. So this is the basic equipment and then you also need a board for testing your iron. So to test your iron, you just get a non-pressure treated piece of wood and apply the iron to it to burn a dark circle in two to three seconds or less. Now this iron, either I'm not applying it evenly or it's not quite hot enough. It's close. That circle is really close, but I would like it to be just a little bit hotter. Now when you actually do it on the calf, you're going to apply it with kind of a rolling motion like this. but it should be hotter than it is now. 
There we go. That's much better. Could be that that tip wasn't fully engaged. So that's how you do it. Now, for a larger calf, you would use only this larger tip. It wouldn't have this extension here. And that heats up much faster. You can see, if I just lay it down there, it would light the board on fire in just a few seconds. So that gets a lot hotter than the goat tip. But it's working out all right. So we'll just wait for the calf to get here and then go to work. No, not yet. That's what I was looking for. Good dog. to move a calf this size is with one hand on their tail and the other kind of under their chest. That way you can control the direction of their movement and still propel them forward. So your hand back here propels them forward and your hand up here controls where they're going and how fast they get. Just lead him over there to the like this. see the horn. You can see the horn right there and it can be helpful to clip the hair away from it so that you can see it better. This isn't a necessary step but it can be very helpful when you, especially if you're first starting. You just kind of clip that hair away a little bit or shave their head. And that way you can clearly see where you need to burn and not have so much smoke from burned hair in your eyes. Okay. All right, so now that you've identified exactly where the horn buds are, then you can begin burning. Now, even though this may seem cruel to be burning off their horns, it ends up being much better for them in the long run because they're much safer without horns. And this is the most humane method of removing them. If you do it while they're young like this, they recover very quickly. And using a hot iron burns through the nerves very quickly so that they actually don't feel as much pain as you might think. My iron has gotten very cool for some reason. So it's like it might take a little while to heat back up. The switch got turned off. See how cool it is, it's not burning a ring like that. We'll just have to wait for that to get good and hot. Did the switch get turned off? Mm hmm I flipped it back on. Sometimes, see it has a soldering set as well, and sometimes this little switch will get pushed halfway over and that turns it off. Some people use caustic paste to dehorn, but that's actually very cool because then it just slowly burns into it and it doesn't disable the nerves right away. So I'm going to just test my iron and hot and burned a, a full circle there really quickly and my cord is free. <clears throat> It'll hold its heat for a little while so you can actually unplug it for this. Now I'll just apply it firmly to the horn bud. This is why you wear gloves and I'll kind of rotate like that. This is going to be really hard. I'm going to have to finish this side and then go to that one. Try to hold his head still with my knee as well. And you can kind of press down. is a full copper and white ring. We've almost got a copper ring here. Not quite. So I'm going to do a little more. 
try to pop off that horn cap. So it won't come off and burn a circle or an X into it. It's the top of the horn. and roll him over on his back. Look that back in, Emily. This? Yeah. yeah. Got to pick it up. Emily, this is extremely hot. You can black, grab the black. We well, should be close enough now to plug it in. But don't grab anything else but that black handle near the cord. Yeah. Concrete. Actually, I could go ahead and put some aloe on that side. Now I put the aloe on to help that burn heal up quickly. And cool their head off. As soon as we're done here, we'll give him back to his mama to be comforted. This thing is real cool. This is not good. I'm not real confident in that other burn. If you roll him on his back, it's going to be easier. Because then he I don't want to do any more on that side. I'm going to aloe it while we got them here. Yeah. And then I'll just take them back over to Sama. Let him nurse. We'll probably be moving a little slow for a couple of days. Well, a day or so. But then he should be up and on his feet and fine. Well, he should be on his feet the whole time, but he'll probably just be a little slow. Okay. Can you turn him loose? Well, I'll walk him back over there. You can see he's already moving pretty 